Hello, welcome back to Bitcoin Beats. Wait for the draw. It's all about humanity. Hope you're all having a fantastic day here. My name is Hamilton. I'm going to be walking you through the Bitcoin markets today. So let's get on with this right away. And if you haven't liked the video already, please just like it. Just give it a little, little, little. Oh, I just smashed my keyboard. <laughs> just smashed my keyboard. What are we on? We're on Cosmos now. Okay, we're not here to talk about that. All that. We're talking about this Bitcoin short term, mid term, long term predictions here on a Monday. So let's have a look at this. Where are we? What has happened? Well, uh. Just to be frank here, we've had a bit of a, just a bit of a, a bit of a girthy dump here all over us. Look at this. Look at this disgusting girth. Okay. I did say if we lose this 200 convincingly, we should come back down to 10.5. And what have we done here? 10.550 around this area, around this weekly pivot uh, where we've been, right? So uh, that's kind of what's happened here. There's not really a lot to say besides we've gone sideways kind of as predicted around this area. And then we've dumped off a cliff, right? So uh, this is essentially it right now in terms of predictions for the one hour right here right now I would just say that uh, ranging between this kind of 10 7 to 10 5 zone uh, over today makes sense for me but we're not sure yet if this momentum has stopped right because if this momentum is just getting started here and we are just in a bit of a pit stop here uh, the next target here will be all the way down here to 10 2 5 6 okay 10,256 up in here Right, uh, and the reason behind that is basically from the Wad machine plotting in this pretty significant support. You can see this is kind of like our, our average area that we were kind of reverting back to before, right? So a uh, pretty important area. Uh, if we do lose this kind of 10, 5, 50 area, uh, I would expect to just return back down there, right? That's that's kind of my initial target here. Uh, right now it is looking pretty bleak. Okay, it's a pretty steep bleak thing here for the Bitcoin in the streets. So uh, I would say be cautious with this one. Be, be cautious with this one. Be careful with this one. And uh, just, yeah, don't don't over leverage this because it is a little bit iffy right now. Bitcoin, uh, I was expecting some kind of rejection here. And we did talk about if we did lose this trend line as well uh, coming through uh, that we should get some continuation. Right. So we're, we're at that kind of next stop here, that next support. Uh, will, will we get through it? Mm, potentially here. I have some other stuff to talk about. Uh, where is it? Here, right? Yeah. Uh, so this is the sideways money indicator. I'm just keeping this on the short term for now, and then we'll go on to the midterm. But uh, basically, this range is not flat yet. We haven't hit the center, uh, so the range has not had a chance to become flat yet. Right? So that basically means that we don't uh, necessarily need to need to come back up yet. Okay. As soon as this range becomes flat, okay, something like this, then we can talk about a potential bounce. Then we can talk about a potential arranging trades here around this area as we talked about uh, between the 10,550 and the 10,700 zone, right? Uh, and apologies for my voice today, a little bit dry, had a bit of a, a drinking weekend because it was, uh, it's, it's my brother's birthday and my birthday this month. So we've we just been going at it, going, go, getting mental with the drinks. Okay. Uh, but uh, still remaining highly disciplined okay still still uploading every day making our predictions making our trades making the girthy gains here right but my main point here is uh the momentum isn't showing any signs of slowing down just yet this is just more of a steady drop okay uh, so that's kind of what's going on with the downside uh for the upside here we basically just well, i mean it's, it's a bit of a sorry wrong wrong chart but uh, it's a bit of a iffy one because we have so much above us now that can just crush us okay uh, so we've got to be careful not to get obliterated in along here and, and what i'm going to really going to be hoping to do is is looking for that turnaround in momentum um so making sure this isn't just a pit stop before a girthy dump down to 10 to and potentially lower than that right uh, so just making sure that momentum is turning around potentially looking to see when we get over this price action channel again and then look for the long off that right uh, i'm also if we do obviously come down to like nine seven area uh, then I'll, I'll probably be uh, adding to my long here um and bringing that average entry down to kind of the, the 10 twos 10 threes area right that's kind of my plan going forward um but yeah, predictions here towards the upside. We basically just got to reclaim this, get above 11.2, and we're good to go towards the upside. Uh, but it's pretty far away right now. I wouldn't expect that to happen unless this does just go down as a girthy trap and we just bang it uh, in, the, in the other direction, right? Which is pretty unlikely at this point, right? So um, yeah, let's move on to the midterm. Midterm here, pretty similar scenario here. Uh, I, I, I Normally, I would say I don't like that we've just smashed through these moving averages, 
but uh, there is an argument to say that we have already tested all of them with this previous candle, right? Uh, so uh, ideally what I wanted to see here was a retest of these on the way down and then keeping that healthy move going, building momentum, slowing momentum, uh, rounding off somewhere, and then we can look for a nice trade or a potential rounding off and then bouncing off that price action channel as it comes down, right? As all these moving averages come down, uh, as we, we look for that bounce, that 1% bounce that we like, right? Uh, so that's kind of, that's, that's what I was hoping for here, but it doesn't look like the momentum is slowing just yet. Uh, we are kind of at this pit stop area as we talked about, uh, but over the longer term, over the next kind of three hours to, well not three hours, <laughs> the next 12 hours to, to a day or so in the midterm, what we want to see here is, is some rounding off, okay? And then, as we talked about, when these guys come down, uh, then we're going to look for a little scalp here towards the downside. Beautiful stuff, girthy, uh, we know this works, it's a fantastic strategy, okay? And if you do want to learn more about that strategy, free webinar on Wednesday two days time bitcoinbeats.net reserve your seats okay <laughs> just shilling my free webinar incredible i gain nothing from it but it's, it's good times it's good times so if you want to enter that uh, sorry if you want to if you want to go to that go for it go for it it's in the description but uh, essentially this is what we're looking for here if we do bounce kind of rapidly on this um and, and we do maintain above this support with uh, many wicks here uh, then that momentum is is more likely to be in a posture where we can turn around and bang it back towards the upside and to be honest, guys, as we'll find out in a minute with these higher time frames, it does look like Bitcoin needs to return back to 10,750 today, somewhere around that area, simply because uh, it's it's a very, very important area on the daily and, and other areas. But we'll talk about that in a minute. And my main point here is, will this 10,5 hold? Not being too repetitive, obviously. Uh, but it's on this, it's everything here. This is this is the area we're watching. Uh, whether this will be the retest that we've been talking about for the past two days, uh, and then just continuation upwards. Fantastic. Okay. Um, and if I wasn't in a position here, guys, I would be looking for a long around this area. Okay. Uh, it's just a good area to be bouncing off of. But uh, with that being said, not 100x all in long, uh, bang it in, okay? This is more of a DCA long, so putting in like maybe maybe 5 to 10% of your account, just holding Bitcoin 1x, and then if we do go up from here and we bang it all the way up, uh, then you're still going to be making money. Uh, you're not going to be in a, in a detrimental position, right? Uh, and, and that way, if, if, you, if you're not putting in too much and we do continue down, you're going to have way more bullets to just bang some more in, bring your average entry down uh, for that inevitable Bitcoin bounce whenever it does happen, right? Right. So, yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at right now. Um, let's let's bring this up. Let's bring this all the way up. OK, let's bring it up to the 12 hour here. OK, what is Guanin up in this thing? I would say be careful with this because uh, we do have our 200 EMA at 10.4, as we talked about. Right. Uh, we are still it does look pretty good in terms of a first candle for a dump. OK, but uh, again, we didn't test these after breaking through them. It's exactly the same as the other time frames. A retest of 10.8 would have been nice. Okay, it's still possible. Obviously, this is a 12-hour candle, um, but uh, this is why it's, it's important to be careful here because this can easily be a trap and we could just bang it back up and recover, right? Uh, this is this is a Monday, so all the stock boys are just going to be ready with their, with their ammo just to mess around with this, right? But uh, in terms of momentum and, and what's happening and whether this continues in a healthy direction, um, Honestly, I'm looking around this 10-4 zone. I'm liking it for some support. But if we do lose this bad boy here, if we do lose it, it's not that good, okay? It's not good at all. Uh, and we're going to get rid of this line because it's not as important. It was more of a theoretical thing yesterday. Uh, but uh, again, 10-4, if it doesn't hold, 10,000. Really, I mean, I mean that is that is it, okay? Uh, and obviously that 10 to 60 area that we just talked about, right, as a as a potential pit stop or a potential bottom, depending on how it looks, right? Uh, so somewhere around here, if we did that, uh, the 10 to 70 area, uh, this could go down as a wick and then uh, banging it up from there, not a problem, right? Uh, and this would actually be a, a test of these moving averages uh, pretty nicely, and then floating back on above it and then rounding off from there, continuing our kind of bullish phase, right? This would be the ideal scenario, and we have talked about this. Uh, being a potential thing that can happen, but it really depends on how today goes. And we did also, we did also talk about, uh, do I have this here? I think I, if I zoom out here, yeah, we did talk about this potential ascending triangle forming, but not really good enough here, not enough confidence on this upside, not enough uh, flat resistance here uh, along the top side as well. So that's going to be a bit of a bust in terms of what we were hoping for, in terms of a pattern to form, in terms of getting a measure move, in, till, in terms of making the girthy gains, the girthy profit all over you, right? So uh, right now we're just watching Bitcoin just just casually dump into the endless chasm of the crypto abyss like no problem here it's fine 
okay, we're just gonna let this happen. Uh, we are in a short on the breakout machine, okay, uh, so it's fine here. Um, but again, we've got to be careful with this move because it's not that healthy. If I do just zoom in on this, uh, I don't like this spike in, in volatility. It's not good. I would expect a reversal after this usually, okay, but we've got the same thing here uh, as well. So it really depends on, on, on what Bitcoin wants to do here, whether it wants to bang it back up and just have this as a trap. Uh, so I'm going to be watching this like a hawk, but uh, we know with, with this strategy, we do follow it blindly, okay? This is the only strategy we will follow blindly. We, we will use these to kind of get a grasp on the market, but this is the one that makes serious money. Money, okay with a small starting stack pretty high drawdown so high risk but uh, the returns are so good that you don't need to put much into it so you can put one percent of your account into this strategy and be like hey uh, it's fine we can follow this blindly if I lose one percent of my account what am I gonna do nothing right uh, because the returns are ridiculous they are ridiculous over an amount of time all we're waiting for here with this is just five or six trades in a row uh, and and they have, if they're good trades, then we're just going to run up a balance that's irreversibly in profit, okay? And that's what we're after here with this strategy. Uh, so with this, some people do ask me in the Telegram, like, why did you take that long? Why did you take this short? It was obviously that we we're going back up because we are f blindly following this strategy based on the fact that it gives fantastic results over a longer period of time. This is the only one we disconnect from TA because uh, we, we've already, well, I've, I've already already pr programmed this in so it all works and everything. Uh, so I know what's going on here and I know that it does work over a certain amount of times we just need Bitcoin to align with it a little bit and then we get the, just it's, it's like a lottery ticket where you've got like a one in ten chance that uh, every year that is gonna bang it that, that's the wrong odds that's the wrong odds I mean like once a year once a year it's uh it's gonna it's gonna bang it right like uh, four or five trades in a row and I do have proof for that and if you do if you are in the program you can literally check this yourself you can check this yourself but I'm not I'm not really gonna be discussing all of this right now Okay, uh, we are we are going to continue with the video uh, on that tangent, but you can kind of get the grip of what's happening here with Bitcoin in the fact that if we do curl over here and the momentum does start to switch here, then I would expect basically, yeah, I think this trend line is a little bit too steep, so uh, potentially here a wave back up on the 12 hour, kind of uh, violating this this 10.7 area as we talked about, uh, going sideways around this area if momentum stops here. This is super important. If me momentum stops here, if we do just get a big girthy dump through this area, uh, scrap it, right? But but uh, if momentum stops here, uh, this is kind of what we're looking for here. Uh, we're looking for a wave up, okay? First of all, a wave up, and then uh, potentially some kind of trend line to form here, right? And then we can watch this trend line as things stay kind of sideways in this area, volume starts to drop again, etc., etc. And we can watch this trend line for the next breakout. And when this breakout happens, uh, obviously the lower we are, the better, because then we can get a better entry, right? But uh, when this breakout happens, this is going to be the one we're, we're basically looking for here uh, in terms of uh, some continuation up, so some girthy gains here. Uh, but with that being said, uh, with our October 6 potential predictions here, uh, we could easily come down a lot lower and just kind of mess around this lower 10,000 area a little bit. So uh, again, finger on the trigger, okay? Finger on the pulse here, just chilling, all right? Uh, we are just, we're, we're kind of waiting to see where Bitcoin ends up right now and then waiting for that momentum and then we're gonna play that momentum afterwards, right? Uh, super important stuff here. You can see the 24 hour, this is the main point of the video here, uh, so pay attention for this. Uh, 24 hour, okour, okay, no tests of here. Obviously we've got 12 hours left on this, so not bad, uh, not bad, but we can still easily recover from this. And if we end today back above 10.9, which I think is pretty unlikely, just just based on the price action, but it can always happen. This is Bitcoin land, remember. We are in accumulation. Uh, this kind of stuff does happen in accumulation. Look at this dirty wiki mess. It's just grim, okay, it's grim. But <laughs> but yeah, if, if we do somehow recover here and, and have this down as a wick, uh, it, this would actually be pretty bullish. Be pretty bullish in my opinion. Uh, simply would be, We'd be back above all this. We'd have a lot of upward pressure from that wick, uh, and then we can really attack those mid, uh, mid eleven thousands. It's gonna say twelve, but completely the wrong number, really. <laughs> completely wrong. So, um, yeah, what I would say here, if we finish like this, if we finish below the price action channel, ten six. I would still expect this to be a kind of a sideways momentum thing, especially if you finish there with a wick there, because we know we like to absorb wicks to the other side a lot of the time. You can see a lot of that here, right? Uh, so. Yeah, coming back up here to, again, 10.7 would make sense to me if we finish somewhere around here. Super important. If we finish somewhere around here, we, ca we can see we're already violating this weekly pivot. So it's going to be an interesting one. I don't want to just live commentate this until the end of time. So, guys, uh, let's just... let's. Move on with the video here. The, the, the long-term predictions are essentially, if we 
do continue down here. We, we get through everything we've already talked about here on every time frame. Uh, probably around 9.8 would be my target here uh, for a bounce, right? And then I'll be looking for a long around 9.7 in terms of uh, a limit order long, uh, just to put another another little round in, another bit of ammo in, uh, and then my average entry will be down, as we talked about before, right? Uh, like 10 to. And then from that point, if we do go up, fantastic. If we go down lower, get ready for some more bullets, right? Uh, and then from that point, uh, we can really, really just play out this elongated period before a girthy bull run breaking through some really significant resistance lines, which we're gonna talk about right now. Boom, look at this round of blue boxes, beauty all over you here right now. So uh, just to make this a bit simpler, I've got rid of a, a lot of these lines in between, and we've just got what matters here, which is the, the big major supports for Bitcoin and major resistances. So we've got this blue line coming down as we talked about on the weekly, uh, fantastic stuff here. We are on a Monday, remember as well, so it's important to highlight this weekly close. Uh, those of you in the newsletter who did sign up on the website, for uh, the webinar who also gets in the newsletter as well, right? Um, yeah, uh, you will know already from the email I've sent out that basically this isn't a fantastic close. Uh, it's not bad, it's not bad. And we're gonna actually go up to the weekly on this just to prove this. It's not a bad close, we closed above our 10 simple here. Okay, not bad, but uh, because of the momentum on this 10 simple on the weekly, it basically meant the next candle uh, opened underneath it right and that's essentially one of the reasons why we could be dumping today uh, so essentially what we're gonna be looking for this week is a close above this if we can get a close above this this week so above uh, let's see let's see because this is gonna go up again right so this is probably gonna go up to here like 11 11 50 right uh, so if we can if we can close a candle this week uh, on a weekly candle right above 1150 so 11,050 uh, I would be a lot more bullish towards the upside, and I would actually expect some continuation here around this mid-11,000 zone, right? If we, we stay below this, I would expect to come all the way back down here uh, to 10, 11, uh, sorry, 10, 10,100, uh, potentially even lower, and basically everything we talked about towards the downside this video, right? Uh, if that is something that comes into fruition, right? Uh, so just be careful with that, be cautious, just keep that in mind, right? Um, and we'll see, we'll see what happens here. But again, uh, I'll bring it back to the meme reversion here and all of this good stuff here. Uh, we got this blue line coming through. Uh, let's see if I can turn this blue actually red so it's a little bit easier to kind of diagnose. Uh, there's quite a lot of lines here. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, let's just hope. No. <clears throat> oh, this is, a, this is quite a lot to look at. Um, I think what we'll do, I think what we will do here is, is this it? Is this gonna be it? No. No, it's not. Not at all. And this is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. Uh, we'll leave it. We'll, uh, I'll fix that for next video, okay? But for now, let's just look at this blue. You can still see it, right? It's fine. Um, this is going to be our major resistance line coming through, right? So uh, 12,500 is the area I'm going to be watching if we do get up there. Uh, we do reclaim this a few weeks away, I would say, but uh, not, not out of the realms of reality this week either, right? So we've got to be careful. Uh, but at the same time, this does look a lot like a retest at this point. It really does. It looks like we've come down, we've lost this major support, we've come up, we've retested it, and if we finish basically this week like this, it would be quite bearish, and I would expect, again, a retest of the 10.7s again, and then continuation towards the downside, uh, kind of violating this 10,000 zone, and potentially looking at uh, the center of this mean as well uh, for a bigger drop, a bigger, bigger drop, right? And that, that could still happen today, to be honest. Like, uh, we've got to be careful with all this stuff. So, uh, yeah, uh, these are the areas to watch on the big, long, long, ling, <laughs> the, the super long term here. I would just say, uh, yeah, 9,200, fantastic uh, for, for one of my bigger bottoms, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm still obviously going to be putting in longs every thousand dollars we drop uh, if we do get lower than that, right? But if we do reclaim this bull market barrier, flip side, flip that, okay? It's, it's completely op the opposite. I'll be looking for a break of this and I'm gonna be looking for a fantastic, like maybe 20%, 30% long, right? So if you are just stu suck, stuck there right now, um if you are just stuck there right now and, and you're just thinking like, I really need to be in a position, why not in a position? You don't. This is the worst time to actually get in a position, to be honest, right? Uh, again, I'm only in for one bullet here uh, because it's it's an indecisive area, right? We've gone over our bull market barrier here, uh, which typically would say that we're, we're in an indecisive point uh, because we are testing it, we are around it, right? Uh, Usually, if we're above it and we are finding support on it, we are in a, a particularly bullish market, right? You can see this pretty fantastically uh, with this blue line, right? 
I just get rid of the mean reversion and make it a bit easier, there we go, right? Uh, so, uh, yeah, we can have confluence around this, and if we, are, were, if we are talking about a cycle here, we're somewhere around here in this cycle, I would say, uh, if it does hold true and it stays like this, right? Um, Again, this is Bitcoin, anything can happen. We do have that mean reversion pushing us down as we talked about. Uh, so uh, if we are somewhere like this, then I would basically expect some serious pumpage uh, coming through. But this isn't ha exactly how assets behave. We don't just look at this and be like, well, there's a crystal ball, we just long here, we're gonna bang it, because like, it's, not, it's not smart to be thinking like that, okay? Uh, so around this area, yes, we are in a potential transitional period, uh, but uh, it would be ignorant and, and kind of stupid to say that we can't come back down to these lower kind of 7,000 zones before having that wave up, right? And before uh, coming, uh, bringing that into fruition kind of next year, right? Uh, and that would make a lot more sense to me. But if we do reclaim this, and we do bang it over this, uh, it, it's basically my indication here. It's basically my indication that we are entering that bullish phase, especially if we get above this green line. If we get above this green line, uh, this is it uh, for me, and I will be looking for that big long hold, uh, just banging that in, right? Uh, the equivalent of that would be this, right? Uh, so we're coming up, we're finding confluence around this green line, and then once we get above this, it basically means we're going parabolic, um, according to this theory, okay? Uh, it's not set in stone, but I will be looking at this, and obviously I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be updating you guys every day, uh, giving you guys all, all my, well, not all my trades, but like, uh, not all of my edge either, but <laughs> just updates to help you guys, giving you guys value, uh, and hopefully making you guys a better trader, uh, better traders. Uh, as well, right? Any questions, let me know in the comments, let me know in the telegram, t.me slash algobox, and that is basically going to be the video, guys. So that is, that is going to be it for now, so I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic week, okay? Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you later. Peace out, and goodbye.